Hey guys, welcome to a historic brawl video. Today we're gonna play the ancient one. Highly requested. That's right. One person wanted me to play this. So shout out to mm, Waffles. You you better you better watch this. <laughs> but yeah, if you guys have been enjoying my video, hit the like, hit the subscribe button, and yes, we are playing a two mana eight eight descent eight. The Ancient One can't attack or block unless there are 8 or more permanents in your yard. And then for 4 mana, draw a card, then discard a card. When you discard a card this way, target player mills cards equal to its mana value. 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 And yeah, I tried a few different uh, decks, uh, a few different lists. I found some online. I tried to make some of my own. But this, I think this is what I enjoyed the most. And it's a reanimator style. Uh, some of... Some other lists are just focused on milling out your opponent. But I think Brovac just does that better. So, yeah, this is a reanimate focused list. So we have pretty much 90% of the 5 mana reanimates in the deck. As you can see them all right here. And then we have like 9 or 10 bombs to uh, reanimate. Best one's probably been like Grizzle Brand. And the Scholar to... Um, chain the reanimate spells because you can reanimate the scholar and then reanimate another card in your deck but yeah the deck is pretty straightforward uh we got a lot of early hand disruption and counter spells which is what blue black does best i put in the good two mana rocks because uh mana <laughs> rap is always important in historic and then i put in a ton of ways to discard cards or fuel our graveyard such as all of the thirsts and Rona and Malcolm. And of course the ancient one also fuels our own graveyard. So yeah, pretty standard list. Uh, it, I'll leave the deck list in our description if you guys want to try it out for yourselves. But yeah, let's just jump into the first game. Okay, on the play with a Pretty decent hand, and against the reality chip, a legendary equipment jellyfish. Uh, you may look at the top card of your library at any time. Uh, as long as the reality chip is attached to a creature, you may play lands and cast spells from among them. From among the top of your library, sorry. And you can play three mana to refigure it, which is uh, equipping it to another creature. We're against mono blue, so might be a little difficult to uh, resolve a reanimate spell, but I guess we'll have to draw one before that. Yeah, let's just thought sees it right off the bat here. <laughs> Yikes. There's a Supreme Will, an Emery, and a Braided Net. Guess we take hand the One Ring. I'm just going to take the uh, Idol to slow them down a little bit, but that's going to be tough to beat. Guess we just got to find a reanimate target before <laughs> they can keep open their counters. Boom, Ancient One online. Reality Chip online. And let's just pass here. Probably gonna thirst for meaning at the end of their turn. Whenever an opponent casts a spell, you draw a card. Unless they pay one. Damn. Wish I had a counter for that. I also wish we hit something bad to discard, but oh well. Not going as planned here.
We want a swamp here still. Did find a young necromancer, which I guess is okay. But again, we didn't hit anything to throw in the yard. And that completely turns off the ancient one. So, <laughs> oh man, oh man. Not going well, not going well at all. Um, I guess we can dress them here and get rid of the one ring, probably. Let's see if we can bait them out. counter nice No attacks. Okay. Not looking too, too bad here. Probably do want to kill the Emery. Ooh. Uh, that's also pretty good. Still kind of just want to kill the Emery though. Make sure they can't cast any of their... Stuff like the One Ring from the yard. We should have enough mana to pay the Signet. And the Murder Rider and pay for the Heuristic Study. God damn, this Heuristic Study is really... <laughs> Taxing on our mana, though. Excuse me, where is our reanimate nonsense? I was promised reanimate. This is just a black blue control deck. Alright, they don't have too much going on, which is nice. And yeah, let's play out the demon. I don't know what I'm searching for. Probably just counter spells. Let's play for this manually, make sure it doesn't take away our um our game. signet mana. Because we're gonna look for some one mana counters here, I think. Sometimes you don't need to reanimate your bombs, you can just cast them out. <laughs> Alright, gave us the swan song. And a nice. If you do counter here though, they do get a card with Rhystic Study, but they drew a land. And we drew a Grizzle Rand. So that should probably be game over. I do have that Braden net to slow us down a bit. And I gave him one more card here, so. If they draw a counter off the top, it'll be pretty funny. Alright, no counter. Pass the turn and draw seven at the end of their turn. But our counter is down for a turn, so if they can find something here. We might have a little bit of an issue.
some good water. <laughs> I guess if they keep tapping... Okay, no, this doesn't tap down our creatures, it just loots. I thought this tapped on our creature. I was like, oh, if they keep tapping on our creature, maybe we can't ever kill them. But yeah, there we go. Game one. Didn't get to do any reanimate nonsense, but a win is a win. So let's get on to the next one. All right, going first against goals. Hopefully we actually get to do some reanimate shenanigans this time. Um, hand looks okay. But I'm one and two. But a goals, you guys probably know what it does. But five mana, three, five. Uh, when it enters the battlefield, you may search your library for a land, put that land onto the battlefield tapped, and then for Wooberg plus two, you can exile the top three cards of your library and play them this turn without paying their mana cost. Let us Inquisition and see if they have any ramp in their hand. Boom. Get that out of here. You don't want none of that. No, sir. They also got a lot of fat in, our, in their hand, but... We are the we are we're we are we are the reanimated deck, not them hopefully. Those fatties shouldn't do it. Ooh, they draw a two drop. Ooh, they drew a growth spiral. Don't you dare. Don't you dare hit a land. They're rapping on me anyways. Yeah, I couldn't slow them down. I couldn't slow them down. <laughs> now that all the fetch lands are in here too, they're gonna hit Uber pretty easily as well. Let's activate the Rona. Pitch the Tox roll. We did hit a spell to bring it back. And yeah, let's play the Ancient one. And we can loot again here. Ooh, Swan Song is actually pretty interesting. I guess we don't need the One Ring. We already have a fatty in our yard. But yeah, the one ring is really nice with the ancient one because you can uh, put the ring tempt on it and it mills each player eight. I guess it's correct to still loot even though I want to keep everything. But I guess it can help us find a land. So maybe I pitch the bone shard. I want to play the this this turn. Yeah, they don't didn't hit a land last turn, so let's pitch the bone shard here. Play the Palantir, which lets us scroll. Oh, nice. <laughs> Forgot this is also legendary. Nice, nice, nice. But yeah, let's ascribe to at the end of their turn. And then Okay. Damn it. A little bit of a non-game. But next turn we could have brought back Toxrel or the gin, which probably would have ended the game right there. Oh, hi. Sorry, I'm just praying that uh, we could get a game where I could show off for this deck, what this deck does, please. Please, against uh, Sagrada, Font of Blessings, 4 mana, 4 for flying. Other permanents you control have hexproof. You may look at the top card of your library anytime, and you can cast angel, uh, angel and human spells from the top of their library. Hand's good because we have a Signet, so I'll keep it. And we also have an Inquisition on turn one. Maybe disrupt their mana dork again, which is what won us our last game. But seriously, please, let me have an actual <laughs> reanimate game. Um... <laughs> they still have ramp if you get rid of one of their ramps. Maybe we get rid of the Esper Sentinel. Sentinel? Yeah, okay. And if they play out the Naturalist instead of the Signet, yep, we can Swan Song the Signet next turn. Which does give them a 2 2 flyer. But I think it is the correct play. Just kidding, this doesn't hit artifacts. I always forget that. <laughs> Alright, we have there's too much pressure on the board and um <laughs> we're in trouble. There's a surge. Let's play the ancient one. And hope we don't die too fast. 2-4. Your opponent can't spell cast spells with mana 
greater than the number of turns they have begun, which is three. But dumb. <laughs> it can't become night. Okay. I don't like that. I don't know. I don't know if that's bad for me or not, but it seems a bit silly. This is not too bad for us. Do do do. I think we're just gonna activate the agent on here. And try to hit something. But yeah, they can just play another angel, which can exile a non land permanent. So we're in awful, awful, awful position. Um, I guess we pitch a scholar here. Mill us for seven. Goodbye to that. Do we hit anything else? We hit the Hellbreaker. Okay, so we did hit multiple uh, bombs. So if we hit, we need to hit a reanimate spell right now. We might have a chance. Nope. Okay. Also, no four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten damage on the board. We've got two, three, four, five, six, seven mana. So let's play the Jace. Let's plus one to save some life. And we'll confounding riddle on their turn, trying to search for a reanimate target, which might save us. Kind of doubting it right now. Yeah, they just have too much flying pressure. Well, the Jace might save us some life here. If they decide to attack it instead of our face. Nice. Guess they're doing a little bit of both. Okay, that they had enough damage killing it. For some reason, I thought they didn't attack it with enough, which would have been a little weird. Okay, we found a way to return a creature, so let's let's do that. Do I want to lose a life from this? I think that's okay. <laughs> Gets a land out of our deck. So this. Is using our all, all our black, which you don't want. I guess we still have the signet, though, right? Okay. This brings back Scholar, which lets us concoct a second time. Which brings back another bomb. But I don't know if it's going to be enough because neither of these really influence the bar. I guess the hull brick can start bouncing things. Also kill something, but this is more fun. What do we bounce? I guess the one thing we can bounce. But again, look how much flying pressure they have. And, uh, but they can't really attack, right? And we get to bring back <laughs> the tide? Is that really helpful for us, though? Maybe I should have enough kept this on top. Would we rather search or play Gix? I guess playing the Gix Jin 
stops them from finding another removal spell. And it'll start copying our non-creature spells, right? Hey. Again, I don't think we're dead yet. Uh, we're dead? <laughs> oh, that fucking sucks. Really tough dick to fly here, man. What a perfect combo. No. I mean, I, I guess we still got to reanimate, which is good. But damn, they have the Hexproof and the Angel. I don't know if it... I guess it didn't really matter. Because if we had balances, they get to recast it and still buff their board. Yeah, this Valkyrie. The Hexproof from that. Uh, I hate it. I hate all of that. Alright. I know I asked for a reanimate game and we got one. But can we get one where we win? Uh, against Narset Enlightened Mastered. 5 mana, 3, 2. First Strike, Hexproof. When... Enlightened Master attacks, exile the top four cards of your library. Until the end of your turn, you may cast non-creature spells without paying their mana cost. Honestly, that's going to be a little hard for us <laughs> to beat. But, I mean, we'll all give it our best shot. And on, the draw is, is pretty bad in Historic Brawl, not going to lie. But uh, let's thought seize and mind spike and hopefully we can slow them down enough. <laughs> oh my god. Alright. <laughs> I'm keeping that in there. I'm keeping that in there. Yeah, usually I cut the non-games out of the video, but that one's staying in. That one's staying in. <laughs> Shows you the power of Thoughtseize. Uh, we're on the play. Nice. I'm on the fence about the hand, but I think that is keepable against... Get the uh, hidden hand. Legendary spells cost one less to cast. Exile two legendary cards from your graveyard until the end of... Sorry. Until end of turn, each legendary card... Gains, you may play this card from your graveyard. I've never seen anyone play this, so that's kind of cool. We have some of our pieces, so I guess this is keepable. As in, we got the summon undead, and then we have ways to dig for other cards to pitch baddies and stuff into our yard maybe we don't have that many pieces but <laughs> i still think this hand is keepable no stop hopefully they don't play anything worth memory lapsing because i kind of just want a moment of truth for a land Damn it. <laughs> oh, is there something I'm missing? Can this not be countered or something? Yes. All right. All right. We're in trouble. Okay, let's put the gin in our graveyard. I was thinking about drawing the gin and trying to pitch it to the ancient one to mill ourselves a ton, but. Lily minus to get him off a mana. But I really need to thirst to find other lands here. Pretty awkward position for us. I think slowing them down is a little important though. Enough with the mysteries. I've come. Sacrifices must be made.
Okay, they did take a turn off there. <laughs> Guess if we weren't gonna draw land, Murder's Rider's okay. Things we'd rather forget. Guess I'm pitching the hermit. Because the ring is a good way to fuel our yard with the ancient one and get the ancient one attacking and blocking. Eight. That's a good one. It's no fun when they hit back. One halfling is <laughs> ruining our day. And no more land. Land, land, land. Don't pitch the swamp. I almost pitched the swamp there. Um, don't think we want this actually. Don't think it's gonna hit anything to be honest. Hey. <laughs> All right, we just summon and dead, but what do we summon here? I guess Jin is probably better to draw seven, right? Yep. Smells three cards. Pitch the demon. Pitch the enigma jewel. Okay. Don't kill my gin. It reduces their hand size by seven. Yeah. So they will lose the two cards they don't play. Whenever this attacks, put a plus one plus one counter on tar target tap creature you control. If a non-token creature an opponent owns would die, or creature would card not on the battlefield would be put into the graveyard, exiled instead. So at least we have everything in our yard that we need. <laughs> I think. Maybe. Necromancer. Two, three, four, five, six. So again, we can bring something back. The issue here is they get to cap activate their captain next turn. We don't have a way to deal with that, do we? Just kind of yeah, the one turn where we missed mana might just end us here. Also, just play an 8 8 this turn. We're going to draw several other cards, right? So. Maybe that's our best bet. Take their captain. And play out the ancient one. Draw 7. Languish is pretty sweet as well, I think, but it will kill our Jin. I guess we can bring it back though. Uh, one, <laughs> um, two, three, four, five. See, that's probably. It. I guess I just have. Don't really care. Oh god. One more? One more? One, two, three. Four. Do you want the command tower? Okay, okay, okay. All right, we're doing it. Let's do something like this. All right. Uh, 
And we could trade our ancient one if we want. Maybe we just trade the Jin because we plan on languishing this turn. It would exile our Jin permanently, but we should have what we need to win the game, right? Yeah. Maybe they just gave up that... I, I mean, I do have an 8-8 eight, eight and a Jin for multiple turns. Yep, they might be over it. All right, nice. All right, on the play. We got a Garden Idol, so I'll keep it. Uh, against Sovereign Okinik. Ow. Ow. I guess it's a cat, so that doesn't really work. 4 mana, 3, 4, War 2. When, whenever Sovereign attacks for each creature you control with power greater than the creature's base power, put a number of plus 1, plus 1 counters on the creature equal to the difference. Honestly, I should know that card since it is from the last draft set. Just realized that this isn't a blue source, so um, if we don't find a blue source by turn three, this hand absolutely sucks. <laughs> and I should have. Ah, it's tapped. It's tapped. Damn it. Also, Pell Collector with this is pretty good, eh? Oh, oh wow, we're gonna die. <laughs> we're gonna die fast, real fast. Okay, so the tap line really messed us, right? No, maybe we can't Necromancer next or on turn five. I don't know, we'll see what happens. I'm just gonna thirst play out or pitch the old breaker horror and i gotta hope they don't have a removal spell which is gonna be difficult because white has some pretty efficient removal spells right maybe they got a mana type no mana type decline goodbye to the hall breaker goodbye to the primal tide And both these enter tapped, right? I only need to play one of them to play the Necro Mancer next turn. So let's arrest them. See if there's any removal we can deal with right now. Hexproof, indestructible. Fight. Draw some cards. This might. I don't really care for any of this. I guess the hexproof card is probably the worst. Next turn they get to play this and make their guys pretty big, though, right? So I could also see getting rid of the feral encounter. All right, let's get rid of the hexproof card. <laughs> Oh no, we used a timeout. I'm the slow player this time. Blue or black? Blue or black? Guess we need double black for Liliana. Alright. Okay, they didn't cast out that, which is good for us. So let's just Lily and bring back the Hullbreaker Horror. For the encore. Maybe it was better to bring this because we could actually protect it, right? By discarding three cards. But I want to start bouncing all of their stuff next turn, so if they can't kill it. We are probably pretty good. I don't think that kills it, so nice. 
And our Lily lives, so we could probably plus. I guess I could swing out again. Oh. That's Not right. This is a black blue creature now, right? Yep, and uh, this is protection for multicolor, so. Fortunately, that sucks. Fortunately, we can just start bouncing everything. And also bring back the 7 7, but. Yeah, I think it's just better to play out as many spells as I can. Oh, I can't return that one. All right, nice. Looking pretty good. I can see the opponent scooping here. Nice. Reanimate, reanimate. Now only four more mana. On the play. With a decent hand, no ramp. Against Ramos Dragon Engine, six mana, four, four. Flyer. Whenever you cast a spell, put a plus one plus one counter on Ramos Dragon Engine for each of the colors of that spell's color. Remove five plus one plus one counters. Add Wooberg twice. Activate only once each turn. Another card that I haven't played again, so that's pretty cool. <laughs> I hate all of this. This doesn't hit creatures, so I guess I don't have to worry about the Fracture. So I guess we just get rid of the Thought Erasure. And again, their hand is pretty slow. Okay, that was a great draw for us. Um, blue? Yeah, we might just get them before they can do anything. Oh yeah, <laughs> doi. You knew they, they had that. No fatties in the yard with that mill, right? No landra. All right, we might be in a little bit of trouble. Land draw is good. Actually, playing the Ancient One might be better here. It's Thoughtseize. Because next turn we might be... Damn it, they got removal. Did I know they had that? I did, right? Honestly, bad. <laughs> Bad play for me, but that's all right. Their hand, yeah, I knew they had that, but it was an alchemy card, and I thought it did something else, not gonna lie. Sir, where? Oh, okay, Grizzle Run is in the yard. All right, never mind, we're good. <laughs> I was like, where are my fatties? There he is. <laughs> All right, can you kill Grizzle Brand? This is actually probably my favorite, or the best creature to reanimate normally. Here's the Dragon Engine. Yes, I would like to draw seven cards. Drew an Emrakul. Ha! <laughs> 
I had no more cards in our yard, though, eh? Yeah, we didn't draw a way to pitch him. Drawing Counterspell is nice. Is it a creature in a yard? In a graveyard. Okay, so we can copy something from their yard, which doesn't exist either. Okay. Unfortunate things here. Didn't think I was going to have to think so much after playing the Grizzlebrand, but yeah, let's just attack them for seven. I want to keep open the counter spell, so I think I'm just going to pass here and discard both our fatties. And we can bring back uh, the uh, MR Cool at instant speed with a graveyard shift. So 13-13, uh, protection from um, instance with the uh, Flying and Trample is going to be pretty dirty. Yeah, let's do it right now. <laughs> Surprise, motherfucker. The end of days is here. I mean, this does play into a board wipe, <laughs> but it's pretty cool, right? Come on, it's pretty cool. Plus one for cool points. Was it better to probably just keep open the wash away? Yeah, most likely, but... Come on. Don't do it. Don't wrath me. Don't punish me. I would like to draw seven more cards. I could try drawing another seven to hit a one mana counter spell. But um, I'm, t I'm too much of a little bitch to do that, so <laughs> I think uh, I think we're in an okay spot anyways. All right, let's get one of these lands on the board. Let's bring back something, probably the Grizzy, Grizzy once again. I would like to attack your face, please. We have two, four, five, six, seven mana. Two, four, five, six, seven. So I mean, honestly, I think I, I, think I should just pass here and keep open a counter spell. Yep, don't really need to bring anything back right now. Six cards, one, um, two, three, four, five, six. I mean, probably didn't discard every correct card there, but I don't think we need to. Let's see if we can find a different way to deal with that. I mean, I guess that doesn't really matter, right? Because Emrakul has Trample. He 
each person sacrifices a creature. Yep, that's fine as well. All right, I think we just went here. The end was promised indeed. This is the games we wanted for the video. Hell yeah, let's keep on going. All right, we're actually against the Scarab Gods, so they're probably gonna be on a self-mill plan as well. And they can exile our creature cards and take them for their own. So uh, I don't expect this game to go well, to be honest. Oh, yes, the Scarab God. You mini your upkeep, each opponent loses X life, and you scry X times, where X is the number of zombies you control. Four mana, exile target creature from a graveyard, create a token that's a copy of it, except it's a 4-4 four, four zombie, and when Scarab God dies, return it to its owner's hand at the beginning of the next end step. It's... Yeah, this is gonna be tough, but our hand looks pretty sick, not gonna lie. But we're on the draw, of course. Wonder how often we've been on the draw. Probably not too much, I think. I think we've been on the play quite a bit these few rounds. Aha. Yes, keep milling me. I crave the mill. No, Exile creates your card from your oh from your graveyard. Okay, not our graveyard. Yeah, let's just play at the cold steel heart here. On blue. No, why are they milling all our non creature spells? Oh, my God. So bad. I guess no creatures in our yard makes their scare God worse as well, so. Slight benefit there. And we're actually gonna need to draw something. One, two, three, four, five, six mana next turn, so we can't see gate. Shouldered in their yard. I think we want to keep that, even though it doesn't let us flip. Be search, yeah. Let's we'll start with playing the ancient one. I'd rather them have counter this. Don't counter this. Don't do it. <laughs> You, 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 ghost cancel, cancel you. What? Where's my permanence? Hold. Also, one one death touch. That's actually pretty good against the ancient one. I think there was this um. This flyer that goes in the yard and gives your creatures flying, which I did want to put in this deck, but I couldn't really find the room. Alright. Hermit's actually not bad. And we can actually start um, activating Hezkanta, looking for a recursion effect. You know, once we have um, <laughs> some creatures in our yard, of course.
but we just don't have a way to deal with the Scarab God. So... Yeah, this is gonna be a little tough. Mm, yeah, it's gonna be a bit... It's gonna be pretty tough. It's gonna be pretty tough. Yeah, let's try to find a counter for that. That's that. Is enchantment? See how that works. more creatures but we do have the ancient one on let's go <laughs> I didn't know that came and tapped it's because I got excited by the crystal bread <laughs> so what I should have done is yep yeah, played seagate and then drew seven and we would have hit that offer you can't refuse to protect our crystal bread I want to draw seven more. Kind of. Kind of. Let's do it. Let's hit a Reser reanimate effect. Yep. We got it on to seven here. But yeah, obviously messed that up. I kind of just want to recap. I just want to play the Tox for all this turn instead of bringing back something. Don't have another counter. This is actually pretty important <laughs> for me to resolve. Alright, they're digging. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Have you played a land? We have three mana. Guess we pass here. Yeah, the tap on screw me. I also have the permit to potentially protect. I guess that wouldn't protect. But yeah, yeah. Bit of a mistake there. Not... Playing an untapped blue source. And we still don't have a counter spell for the Zero Blood, so. Also a bit of an issue. Maybe we wanna make sure we have nothing insane to hit. Alright, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 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 All right. So yeah, let's not pitch the hall breaker. You want to replay it next turn? Let's pitch the hall breaker. Being con uh, concoct it next turn. Damn though. Still a little sad about the offer. You can't refuse though. If we lose this game, it's it's definitely my fault. They got six mana. So the Hermit is unlikely to counter a removal spell, but we'll see. That's okay. Yeah, I don't think I want him to draw any cards, so I won't thirst for meaning here. Let's 
go for a swing all. Five. They have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven mana. They can't cast that and use it. So I think our best bet, again, is just to pass. We don't really need to bring back anything. Yeah, let's counter this. This might um, this might give them enough mana to do this, right? To play Scare of God and exile a creature card from our yard. Yeah, okay, cool. Whew, almost threw that away, but came out with another deb. All right, we're doing pretty well with this deck. Okay, this is likely my last game. Been recording for an hour and 15, I think, right now. So yeah, a decent hand. The laps and the dress to slow them down, and we're on the play, so... I think this is keepable. I feel like I don't have to dress them right now. So let's just Temple of Deceit. But yeah, against Myth Weaver Pog. Uh, its power and toughness equal to number of lands you control. Whenever one or more non-token lands enter the battlefield under your control, for each of them conjure a duplicate of it onto the battlefield. This ability only triggers once per turn. That's my best bet here. Kind of just want to get the Ancient one on the line. So I don't think I really want to lapse anything they play on turn two. And there's not too many non-creature... I guess they have a lot of... Yeah, there's not too many... They could have a lot of... Can't talk. So right, this is going to be the last game. But they could have had a two mana rock. But I guess they didn't, which works out. Cobra is a little scary though. So let's duress them and... Memory lapse. This spell can't be counter dark cards equal to the toughness amongst creatures you control, but not any number of creature cards from a hand onto the battlefield. Let's hope they don't do that. It's about if you sacrifice it. If you do look for two basic lands, damn. But yeah, let's get rid of that as it's our only option aside from the eight mana spell. But yeah, next turn we can pitch our Jin and probably get um or have a good shot at getting Ancient One online. Because I shouldn't say probably because we have to hit 8 out of 10 cards. And then we can defossilize it and hopefully win the game from there. Yeah, let's just memory lapse. Because next turn we want to activate the Ancient One. We do need to hit a land for the Defossilize. And that is not a land. I guess we only have to hit 7. Oh, nice, we hit 10. Because the Jin we pitch counts as a permanent. And nice, we got an 8-8 eight, eight attacking on turn 4. Another alternative way to win here. Sometimes you just don't you don't even need to reanimate if you can just get the ancient one all on the line. Alright, they could just sack a land and put a couple more lands, which will make a couple more mana. And they can cast the Mythweaver again. And they do have 
Trump blockers for the 8-8, eight eight, so it's not over, but if we can hit... Yeah, it's definitely not over, but if we can hit a land spell for the defossilize, I'd feel a bit better. They shouldn't be able to cast out everything. It's not... Um... <laughs> That's not a land, guys. So... Do I hold the ancient one back now? Hmm. Okay, so we'll get moment of truth for a land and keep open wash away. But we would have to hit a blue land and it has to be untapped. I think we should need to. Ooh, language. Doesn't help here. Uh, graveyard library. So they have four, five. Yeah, they got a bunch of mana here. And their mid is probably gonna get bigger than our cards, right? Yeah. All right, they they doing good. They doing their thing. That one turn missing that land drop might be over. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine mana this turn. This spell can't be countered. <laughs> well, I guess we are screwed. Did forget that can't be countered. But maybe we can find a board wipe. I got so cocky when I could attack with an 8-8 eight, eight on turn 4, and here we are. <laughs> I guess this is why people play um this um, creature so often. Or sorry, this uh, commander so often. This, I think it's the most common commander I see. Turns out it's because it's good. Well, we're probably going to lose... But let us reanimate something. Anyways. Woo! <laughs> uh, don't discard cards. Ooh, we do have a board wipe. Hold. Maybe they don't flip their... Born clicks. It's also a board wipe, kind of. Um, the delete board wipe, though. No. <laughs> Take that. Yeah, how you feel about that, sucker? I only have two treasure tokens instead of two lands. Yep, 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 yep. Crowbar going brrrr. Or should I say I hate that I drew this. Now I feel like I have a small chance. Even though they have a hand full of cards. Does this kill us? <laughs> they can play a land to draw a card. And then they can play a land to draw a card, and then they can play a land to draw a card. So at the end of this turn, their whole hand is gonna be spells. Six spells in their hand. Nice, nice. <laughs> and the million lotus. I mean, let's let's just let them pop off, I guess. This is my final game. Unfortunate that I'm probably gonna end it on a loss. And yeah, I um I think this deck did pretty well. 
but like I guess a slight disclaimer I was playing this before I recorded and it wasn't doing as well as I did during this recording so I think the deck is fun and it's pretty good <laughs> I'm so dead but it is a little inconsistent and I could definitely see adding and swapping some cards but yeah deck list is going to be in the description thank you guys for watching uh hit the subscribe button if you enjoyed the video let me know what other commander you guys want to see but I might be a little bit more focused on draft when the new set comes out. Yeah, that's about it. Thank you guys for watching. See ya.